Hi, I'm David Hughes. Today I want to show you a brand new product from the manufacturers of the Painter's Pyramid. Let me go ahead and set my drawer over here to the side to dry. Now, in case you're not familiar with what a Painter's Pyramid is, it's a little accessory that's designed to help us while we're standing and finishing our projects. It's made from a non-stick plastic, so if we get finish or stain on it, it won't adhere to, to the pyramid. It's got a very fine tip on the top side, so it allows us to place our projects on top of it and not leave a mark behind when we go to finish or stain. And it's a pretty simple concept. The way it works is you set your project down on top of the painter's pyramid. Now, I like to set mine with the underside facing up. We can take our finish or our stain and stain one surface, leaving the edges clear, grab a hold of the edge, flip it over, set it back down onto the painter's pyramids, and now go ahead and finish the edges and the top surface off. Now the best part about this is we can use our painter's pyramid as a drying rack as well. The pyramid won't stick to the finish and won't leave marks behind. Now that's great when our projects are flat or that we're just trying to work on one surface. But what about those, those larger projects that we need to go work around it or we're, we find ourselves constantly rotating around the workbench? Well, the Painter's Pyramid manufacturers come up with a great idea to utilize the pyramid in our finishing process. It's brand new and it's called the Painter Pyramid Turntable. The way it works is pretty simple. We've got a built-in Lazy Susan. They've incorporated 12 Painter Pyramids into it and the Painter Pyramids are fully adjustable for any size project. What that means for you is if you're doing something really small we can bring our painter's pyramids into the center and set our small project on it. If we're doing something that's long and skinny, we can adjust the painter's pyramids in lengthwise to a long and skinny projects. Or for those larger projects, we can equally space out those painter's pyramid to get full support on the project that we're working on. Now all you need to do is set that down on top of your finishing table. Grab your project. In this case, I'm working on refinishing an old antique table here. We can set that down on top, and what this is going to allow us to do is we can spray the surfaces or we can use a brush and paint all those surfaces, and instead of touching the side and getting those smear prints or getting finish all over our hand, we can rotate our projects around, making it very easy and very handy to get our projects finished in a quick fashion.